What's up guys? Mouth Motor Works here. Is this normal? Let's find out. In this video, we're going to talk about the Cush Drive, which is why this motorcycle has this free play here. Now, this bike in particular only has one mile on it, and there's free play back here. So some of you have been asking, is it normal to have free play, and why does the free play go away when I put it in gear? Yes, it's normal to have the free play. The free play actually doesn't go away when you put it in gear. Uh, it just, a lot of the free play is taken up by it being in gear, but there still will be free play in there. There's just tension now on the chain because the bike's in gear and you're not able to move it as far. But I assure you that free play's there and it's not really free play as much as it is movement. And what I'm going to do now is actually take this rear wheel off and I'm going to show you what's actually going on in this cush drive and what I mean by uh, there's movement in there. All right, we're going to take All the right so now that we have the rear wheel off, we can kind of go over what the cush drive is and what its purpose is on the bike. All right, so first thing we'll do is actually go over what the cush drive is. And if I remove the sprocket here, you can see that there are these three little metal uh, posts that stick up from, we'll call this the sprocket carrier. It's what holds the sprocket um, on and then these go into the hub on the wheel. So your sprocket carrier, these actually go onto the hub on the wheel and in the hub on the wheel we have these rubber bushings. This is actually your cush drive. All right, and the reason why there's free play is because these are made of rubber, so they do flex a little bit, and they also don't fit super tightly in there because stuff's going to heat up as you're rotating this. The chain's going to generate heat. This heat's going to go into this hub. That hub's going to heat up all the components inside, so this stuff's going to get uh, a little bit larger as well as this rubber will also expand a little bit so there is going to be free play because of that and there is going to be what feels like free play because as this rubber padding warms up it's going to become a little bit more flexible so you're going to have free play regardless because those are rubber so that's the cush drive that's why there is that little bit of free play or movement. Um, now let's talk about the purpose of that cush drive and why they put this on motorcycles. All right, now the purpose of the cush drive is to absorb a lot of that impact from the engine. Sudden acceleration, sudden deceleration uh, can really wear out your driveline components if this ended up being a solidly mounted fixture. Your chain, your sprocket would wear out a lot quicker than they do because this cush drive absorbs a lot of that sudden acceleration or sudden deceleration. Uh, and they had to come up with something, so that's what they used. And even, even race bikes use the same style setup. It's not going to be identical. There are, there are different forms of cush drive. This is just one of the forms that are on this bike, but um, a lot of your sport bikes, if not all your sport bikes, are equipped with this cush drive. Uh, and I think, Jim, pretty much everything has a cush drive, except for like dirt bikes. They don't have cush drive. Um, some of the lower end bikes don't have a cush drive. Um, but most of the time, the bikes that are built for longevity, uh, long rides, uh, a lot of those tend to have a cush drive because it, it severely lessens that wear and tear. Uh, and it also makes for a much quieter ride, too, uh, as far as that goes, because that energy is going to absorb some of that sound. It's also helpful for like any unwanted vibrations because if there's a little bit of 
a bend in this sprocket and it were to be solidly mounted to this wheel, you definitely feel that through the handlebars and through the bike, whereas with this Cush Drive, it's going to absorb a little bit of that, so you, you uh, won't have to worry about that as much. Hopefully that was a good explanation for you guys. If I missed something, just tell me in the comments uh, if there's something else you heard about the Cush Drive and, and what and other purposes that it serves. Certainly let me know in the comments, but um, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and put this wheel back on the motorcycle. Um, if you want to see how to remove and reinstall a wheel on this G310, I could do a video for you. Kind of not the point of this video, but if that's a video you'd like to see, I can uh, definitely get that on for you guys. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, again, like I said, hope it was helpful. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, We'll see you in the next video, guys. I'm Matt. This is Motorworks.